Hello everyone and welcome to episode 95 of ASA. It's crazy to think that in 5 more episodes I will have 100 episodes of ASA. But anyways, welcome to ASA. I got 6 questions today so let's get started with TG Collects and he says, ASA, what do you think of the new Ahsoka Trooper Battle Pack? So in terms of the actual build, I would say it's a pretty decent looking build. It's not too ugly or anything. So I'm like, that's actually a plus. Like the build, it looks nice. But realistically, it's going to be depending on how the clones look in person because if Lego lies to us again like they did with the two 12th troopers you know how like the two 12th troopers have that like perfect arrow on their helmet it even shows you here on the actual piece but then when you get the set that they came in it's like this huge ugly white gap and the arrow's not the same and so it was just kind of disappointing hey there you so if the minifigures end up being like that, where it's like they look good on the box, but then in real life it's like, oh no, it's hideous, that's going to really suck. And then something else I find very interesting, if you read the beginning of the description of this battle pack, it mentions that Commander Vaughn has a special helmet, but if you look at the helmets, they're all the same. The only thing that's different about Vaughn's helmet is you put that piece on there. There's nothing special about that, because you always get two in all those little packs, so you could put Commander Vaughn's helmet on someone else, basically, and and so it would just be kind of dumb. Realistically, I think the old 332nd Trooper that came in the AAT looks way better. I'm kind of sad that they had to add the new ones with the buttholes. I mean, helmet holes. I'm still going to get one and hopefully the minifigures actually look like what they look like on the box. Next question is from TJ Collects again. And he says, ASA, what would you do if Lego made a potato piece and then a billion potatoes and a check mark? Honestly, I don't think I would do anything other than say, hey, that's cool. Chances are that a Lego potato piece would probably never end up in a lego star wars set so i'd have to buy them separately and i don't know if i would do that but it would be cool like not gonna lie a potato piece would be nice what's the difference next question is from ek starlord what is your thoughts on lego dreams and then a bunch of potatoes thank you for the potatoes my dude lego dreams is actually a fantastic looking theme i'm like actually in love with it believe it or not because it kind of looks silly and stupid in some ways but i actually think it just looks like a ton of fun like if that was around when i was a kid I would absolutely love it and of course I could buy them but I'm not going to because I much rather save money for Lego Star Wars unfortunately I don't have enough money to be able to buy both Lego Star Wars and dream sets and I'm not gonna just buy a couple here and there I would want to get them all you know but I would say my absolute favorite looking sets are the animal themed ones like the crocodile the bunny and the flying horse oh they just look so cool especially that flying horse like that looks amazing but Lego dreams it looks like a fantastic theme and I hope it does well, I'm excited to see what other people think of it because like I might watch other people's videos on it But I'm not gonna buy them just because I want to be able to afford Lego Star Wars still a really cool theme though So I give Lego an A plus on that one next question is also from EK Starlord Are you going to see the flash movie when it comes out and then some more potatoes? Thank you for the potatoes I'm actually not even interested in this movie, so I'm probably gonna pass on it I might watch it someday like when it's on a streaming service or whatever, but until then probably not I'm definitely not gonna to go see it in theaters though. Next question is from Mayo Husko and he says, ASA, are you mad about the prices of retired Star Wars sets you don't own? And then a potato. Thank you for the potato. I mean, okay, I'm not mad about the sets because it's totally fair. If you own an eBay store and you want to sell something for whatever you want to sell it for, that's fair, you know? Especially because if you're providing free shipping, then that comes out of your pocket. I'm sure eBay takes a cut. I don't actually know what. It's probably like 10 or 20% of the profit. So you got to aim a little higher so that way you can make a decent profit, right? I'm, I'm not mad about that. That makes sense. It does kick you in the butt sometimes. Like for an example, I would absolutely love to have this Star Destroyer, but it's like over $500 on eBay. I don't want to pay for that because that is way too much money for a single Lego Star Wars set that's now retired. It's a bit of a disappointment, but you know, it is what it is. You just got to make do with it. Every now and again, I splurge and spend ridiculous amount of money on a retired set and it's usually usually worth it, especially because I like to buy new Lego, so that's my fault too, because new always costs more as well. But realistically, what I'm trying to say is, yes, it sucks, but life goes on, right? And the last question is from Plurpus. ASA, what is the mission of the Milkman? To rescue cats from trees. Nailed it. That's going to do it for today's episode of ASA, so thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for all your questions. If you have a question or two for the next episode, leave it down below. Also, leave a like while you're down there. It helps out a lot. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!